Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of our trip to Santorini, Greece. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the attractions, hotels, food and some tips for visiting Santorini. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First thing first, how do you get to Santorini? Most of the overseas visitors will land in Athens International Airport, so you'll need to plan your journey from Athens to Santorini, which is located 300 kilometers southeast of Athens. There are two ways you can get there, by ferry, which takes between 6 to 8 hours, depending on the speed, and ferries between 40 euros to 70 euros. Or by air, which takes only 45 minutes, and ferries around 50 euros in budget airlines like Ryan and Palotia. We took a flight to Santorini by Ryanair and I paid a total of $161 for three people for one way that included priority boarding with two cabin bags per person. I would suggest go by air to save your travel time. If you decide to go by ferry then you can visit ferryhopper.com to buy your ferry tickets. Their website is very easy to navigate. Just select your departure and arrival ports and dates and it'll give you a list of ferries with the respective fares for the trip. I have used this site several times for island hopping in Greece and found it very easy to use. The whole process is paperless and very easy to follow. Okay, the other question you'll have on your mind is, how many days do you need to see Santorini? My opinion is, you'll need a minimum of 3 full days to see the whole island comfortably. And I'll explain later in this video why you need 3 days when I'll talk about the attractions in this island. Now let's talk about the transportation. There are three ways you can get around the island, taxi, bus and rental car. Taxi is limited and there is no Uber on the island either. All bus departs from the town of Fira, that is the main hub. I didn't get to use the bus but I heard the bus service was good but it can get crowded during busy season and wait time can get longer. We rented a car from budget and picked it up from the airport and kept it with us during our stay on this island. We dropped it off at the ferry port on the day we left. The cost for the car was 140 euros for 3 days with collision coverage. Having a car gave us the freedom to explore the parts of the island at our own pace where the bus didn't go. I would recommend renting a car if if you are comfortable driving. If you do decide to rent a car, make sure you get an international driver's license from your home country. In the US, you can go to any AAA office to get an international driver's license for $20, which is valid for one year. Next topic is hotel. There are two main towns where you should be staying, Fira and Ia. Ia is located on the northern tip of the island and is famous for sunsets and caldera views, but it is little further away from all the other attractions on the island. You'll find plenty of boutique hotels there with ocean views. The other town where you can stay is the town of Fira. Fira is located on the center of the island and is the main hub for the bus routes. This town also has plenty of hotels, restaurants, shopping places, and of course great views of caldera. There are no major brand hotels on the island of San Trini. I recommend staying in Fira, especially if you are not renting a car. We stayed in a hotel in Fira about 10 minutes walk from the center of the town. The hotel had car parking spaces so we could park our rental car as well. The price is also very reasonable. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's talk about the attractions on this amazing island. If you are in Santorini for one day only, then you can visit the town of Fira in the first half of the day and then you can go explore the town of Ia in the second half of the day and see the sunset from there. If you are in Santorini for two days, then you can do the first day as I mentioned before and on the second day you can either go to the day trip to Volcano or go sightseeing on the other parts of the island, whichever piques your interest. If you are in Santorini for three days, which is my recommendation, you can do Fira and Ia on the first day, Volcano day trip on the second day and on the third day go for the sightseeing on the other parts of the island. Some major attractions are the archaeological sites, several famous beaches with crystal clear water and Callisti Castle located on top of a hill, the highest point of Santorini. Please check the description box below to see my visits to some of these attractions. If you are there for more than 3 days then you can spend more time on these attractions and also stay longer at the beaches to enjoy the crystal clear center in the water. Last but not least, food in Santorini. You'll find plenty of restaurants both in Fira and Ia. In fact, there is no shortage of restaurants in any of the places you go to on this island. If you're going to any high-end restaurant, make sure to make a reservation beforehand. Tipping is standard here in Greece. 10 to 15% of the bill amount is recommended for tips. Most of the restaurants we've been to accepted credit cards, but it is better to keep some cash for small purchases. Please check out my food tour video in the description box below that covered our eats in all three days of our stay on this this island. So guys, this brings us to the end of my video on Santorini travel guide. I hope I was able to give you some useful information on visiting this great island of Greece. Please like and share it if you like this video. Don't forget to check back for my next video on our visit to the island of Naxos in Greece. So until then, take care and goodbye.